Hey guys, it's Tony with the Newbie Setters. I hope you guys are having a great day today. It's the weekend. I'm excited about it, even though I'm not working right now because <laughs> of COVID. But uh, yeah, even though I'm staying at home all the time, it still feels different on the weekends for some reason, even though it's the same thing I do every single day. So yay for the weekends. Um, right now I'm getting ready to put oxygen absorbers into the stuff that I have prepped. And I thought I would show you guys everything that I prepped, at least everything that I prepped that I need to do some kind of, um, not preserving, but you know, put oxygen absorbers in it to help protect it and make it last longer. Um, tell you why and just show you everything, you know, everything that I got. Because I mean, once I put it all together, I'm just like, whoa, that is a lot of food. It's just me and my husband. And I am trying to prep for more for also my family if they need it or whatever, but... I mean, that is, that is definitely a nice start, and I'm, yeah, I'm excited. Like, I just want to go prep some more. So, um, I made a list. I, I wrote down everything that I have, how much, how many pounds of it that I had, and how much it actually cost me. So, I have in front of us here 40 pounds of rice. I have 29 pounds of pinto beans. I have 30 pounds of flour. 30 pounds of sugar, 6 pounds of great northern beans, and 28 pounds of pasta, and I'm estimating it cost around $115, which I'm just like, whoa, that, that's a lot of food, and I don't, and I think the price was really good for that, $115 for that much food, that's a lot of meals right there, and I added up the total weight for everything, and it's 163 pounds, so... Yeah, I'm going to have fun moving that, <laughs> moving that around. So, I got, oxygen, uh, blah, blah, blah. I got oxygen absorbers to put in them to, when you remove air from the container, it helps preserve the items longer. Plus, if there's any eggs in there, it'll prevent them from hatching. So, hopefully, I hope <laughs> I don't have eggs in my food, but you I, you just don't know i mean from looking at it i don't see any but i just want to make sure because it'll be really disappointing if you know i spent all this money and did all this work for eggs to hatch and not being able to eat my food plus i want to be able to you know keep the you know oxygen out of there or whatever so it lasts longer too now as you can see i've got two different types of um containers that i used i use half um gallon ball mason jars and then I used um, a gallon size BPA free um, plastic containers that I got from Walmart. Um, I'm not sure what my preference is. I'm a little torn. Like, obviously, I would prefer glass because even though it says BPA free, I don't feel super confident that there isn't something possibly leaching into my food. Um, plus, even though, though the plastic is, I mean, I feel like it's a decent thickness, um, I'm sure a rodent, you know, with enough effort or whatever could easily, like, probably chew into it. So, you know, with glass, I feel very confident that my food in there is secure. Um, nothing's probably going to get into it or whatever, but it's heavy and it's not cheap. And right now, mason jars have been kind of hard to find, kind of hit and miss, and especially these half gallons. I don't know if it's just... It's because they're so popular, if they're not that popular, if it's just because they're so big so the stores don't order them enough because they take up so much space, I'm not sure what. But I'm constantly having to go between Ace Hardware and Walmart to try to find them. And Ace usually only ever has one package. Um, most of the time when I go to Walmart, they haven't had them. Um, I got lucky at one time and they did have like four of them and I grabbed them. But anyhow, so that is... Why there's two different packaging. Um, another thing I like about the mason jars is I do have a food saver that has one of those attachments that can suck out the air so I won't have to use oxygen absorbers in the future. But right now it's a store so I can't use it. So I can use it on obviously the ball jars but I can't use it on the plastic containers. So um, that's another plus for the mason jars. Um, and when you go, if you decide to get oxygen absorbers to put in to your preps or whatnot, um, make sure you get the right size. They all come in different, uh, it's called CCs. And I'm not, I don't exactly understand the math of it. I just looked up what I needed for um, like a gallon size container and I ordered that one. 
So you want to make sure you order, you know, the right kind for you. If you get something that's too low in CCs and you're putting in a five gallon bucket, then it's not really going to do the job and it's just kind of a waste. Also, when ordering the oxygen absorbers, like let's say you need a quantity of 50 or you just want a quantity of 50, make sure that they are like either in like um, packs of 10, like five packs of 10 instead of all just in one bag. Because from my, my understanding is, is once you open that bag, those oxygen absorbers start working right away. And within two hours, they need to be, and this is from the internet, I, you know, obviously do your own research to verify this, but within two hours, they need to be wherever their destination is to start working or basically they're no good. Um, so if you get a bag of 50 and you open that bag and you only need to use 10 and you have 40 left laying there, um, they're going to go bad and then you just lost out on those oxygen absorbers. I have seen some people put their leftover absorbers, like if they had, if they opened a strip of 10, they only needed one or, I don't know, maybe they got a bag of 50 and only needed 10 or whatnot. They had a bunch of loose ones. I have seen them put them in ball jars and I am a little confused on that because from my understanding, you can't reuse them. And if you put them all in a jar, even though there's no food that they're, you know, that they're trying to absorb the oxygen from or whatnot, I'm not sure if they would still be good or not. That's something I'm still trying to research and find out for myself. If you know, please let me know. <laughs> that would be good information. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm doing my Friday night. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Keep prepping. Uh, get your food stores up, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, yeah, false alarm. That was not that in the video. Um, I just opened my absorbers up for the first time. I actually got these, like, a couple months ago. I've been kind of slacking putting them into the food that I've gotten. But I kind of like to do things all at once, like, in big batches or whatever. I don't know. Anyhow, so this is my first experience with oxygen absorbers. And they were shipped in this Mylar bag. And I ordered 50 of them, and this is how they came. So I got five packages. <sighs> if you hear that slurping, that's the Great Dane drinking right next to me. Sorry. Um, anyhow, so they came airtight, which I'm sure is because of the oxygen absorbers, um, in five packs of 10. And this right here is the indicator that these are good. They haven't went bad. If this was purple, from my understanding from the listing, from that I ordered from that means that they wouldn't want that so um I really kind of like that I think that's really cool so I know that these are you know working um also something I wanted to tell you guys um that I had found out um is when you are put using oxygen absorbers do not put them in sugar if you put them in a container of sugar it will harden the sugar like it'll make it like one hard clump um, I don't know if that means, like, you wouldn't be able to, like, loosen it, you know, later or whatnot. Um, but just, you know, something to think about there. And you may want to see if there are other things that oxygen absorbers should not be in. I did try to research it and nothing, like, quite immediately came up. But I didn't really do an extensive search either. But just a little FYI there because I thought I was going to be able to use them with my sugar. So I am glad that I found that out. Anyhow, all right, that is it this time, I promise. Um, again, have a wonderful weekend. Keep prepping, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.